Hi Leos, welcome to your reading for the first half of March. Beware the Ides of March, Leos. So let's go ahead and get started. I am using the um, Romance Angels and doing a true love spread. And on top of that, we'll be using the Rider Wade Tarot for some clarification, okay? So we got Leo's card. Give me counterpart to Leo, Leo's partner. All right, or future partner, okay. Now this can resonate with family, with friends, with romantic situations, with work, with health. However it fits for you, that's where we need to apply it, okay? So check out your moon and rising and your Venus if you're interested in something specific. Your moon is your emotions. Your rising is what's actually going on physically around you. And then we have Venus with your finances as well as your love sector. Okay, so here we go with the... We got the what brought you two together. Give me the strength strength of the relationship strength what's the strength for leo strength thank you we have a weakness thank you all right here we go with the advice the advice to make the situation better the advice to make the situation better. Some advice. Thank you. And then lastly, the outcome. The outcome. Oh, that's way too many. Just one, please. Just one for Leo. Just one. Thank you. Okay, here we go with the tarot, and I'm just going to turn my little ring light on. Oh, snap, I can see. <laughs> All right. Leos, you may be dealing... <coughs> oh, jeez. You may be dealing with an M... An air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I see Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And I see water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. All right, bottom of the deck. Let's see. All right. So overall energy, five of wands with the separation. Five of wands with separation. So for some of you guys, there may be arguments and you actually need to celebrate. Uh, separate. Celebrate. <laughs> separate. Um, there may be some type of conflict in regards to some separation, but I feel like there's a struggle as well with separation. So some of you guys may be um, just having a hard time dealing with some type of separation, okay? So for your energy, Leo, we have... It is safe for you to love in the reverse with the Knight of coins all right so the knight of coins is slow moving action all right it is like a plan it's going to get there eventually so it's kind of like the long term right so with that it is safe for you to love in the reverse it's like slowly but surely you're realizing that whoever this is or whatever this is situation is is something that you're not really in love with that you f you don't feel in a sense safe to be around that you don't feel like you can be you okay so with the ace of wands and then we have the love yourself first so taking action it and showing yourself some love first, okay? Now, in regards to this, if this is in regards to a relationship, somebody definitely, like, gives, 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 gives their all to the relationship. But this person needs to, what? Love their self first, all right? With that um, Ace of Wands, I feel like, honestly, it's very phallic for me. To me, this is the eggplant emoji card for me. So if you are about to have sex, by all means, have sex, have fun having sex, all right? 
But I feel like for some of you guys, if you're in a relationship, you're starting to feel like Crosswatcher or Leo, that this is just mostly about sex, all right? So what about you two together? We have this Queen of Cups and we have the chemistry and the reverse. So to me, this was mostly just emotional. This is mostly just an emotional connection, okay? Like somebody had feelings towards somebody and um, it was just it, feelings. It was not really a chemistry connection. There is no chemistry in a sense. Or the chemistry was lost, okay? So what are your strengths in this relationship? Give your relationship a chance. And the three of swords. So I feel like the strength of this relationship, what made this relationship strong was the fact that no matter how many times somebody got hurt, the other person... Um, always gave it a chance or that person that got hurt always gave it a chance and that's why right now you're realizing that it is not safe for you to love all right okay so we have reconciliation as the weakness and the uh, knight of swords so i feel like this is the weakness somebody's always just giving in to whoever is just dramatic irate throwing temper tantrums okay so this person, whoever this is, Leo, they fold under pressure, right? So that's why, again, it's not safe for you to love. You're struggling through this. There is no chemistry. So somebody needs to stop lying to themselves. So the advice here is a children card, but it did come in reverse. And we have the Knight of Cups clarifying. So I feel like now children is not a factor, all right? You've realized that what you want and what you desire, Leo, is something more deeper, something more emotionally fulfilling. Even children cannot hold you back on feeling this. Like you understand that children are not involved in your relationship, okay? So that's awesome. All right, so the outcome, we have trust and we have the justice card so i feel like for some of you guys you guys are going to go through some type of legal situation all right trust that what you want is coming trust that this is a karmic karmatic situation this is karma all right this is you learning your lessons um and then there's trust in yourself ultimately because this is the venus card all right so justice is a libra a libra is associated with venus so just trust in one the system like what you truly want trust that things are going to work out for you trust that you do deserve love and that you're coming into an um alignment with what it is that you truly want because this this situation where we're always being heartbroken or there's always arguments somebody's always irritated and somebody does not feel like it's safe for them to be in love i also get the word abuse all right emotional abuse mental abuse physical abuse spiritual abuse there are so many different forms of abuse okay so just understand that in order to release yourself to love yourself first you need to take that first step to choose yourself first all right to choose and to honor what it is that you truly want and desire okay so that is what i have for you leo thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you guys next time around sending you so much love and light until next time and namaste